Hi, this is Jeremy with Practical IT, bringing you another episode. Today we're going to do part two of ViOS. In this episode, we'll be doing some more configuration to bring our VM up to the point where it operates similar to a home router that you would pick up at your local big box store. Let's get started. So we've got our VM from the previous episode and we're going to log in with ViOS and the password we set. And so we're going to show our interfaces. And like we had last time, we've got the IP addresses listed in the center column and they're labeled outside and inside respectively for ETH0 and ETH1. So we're going to start our work today by going into configure mode. And we're going to enable the SSH service. So we simply say set service SSH. And then we commit and save. All right, we'll clear our screen. And best practices would dictate that you don't use the default administrator user, that you create a separate one that you would use for day-to-day -day operations. So we're going to say set system, login, user, give it a name, authentication, plain text hyphen password and we're just going to call it password since it's going to show in plain text no harm no foul the next thing we need to do is since we want to use this as an as an administrative user is we need to set system login user give the username level admin so we'll commit save exit and exit again and we'll log in with the new username and password all right so now we need to set up the DHCP server on interface ETH1 so that any systems connected to the network through this virtual machine will get an address via DHCP. So there's a couple parts we need to do. First we need to set the service, give it a network name and a subnet. Then we'll edit the service and set the default router and the address range as well as a DNS server and domain name. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Configure, set service, DHCP server, shared network name, we'll just call it main, subnet, 192.168.220.0 slash 24 and enter. Now we're going to edit that service that we just set up. service, DHCP server, shared, got my hyphen in the wrong place, shared network name, main, and the subnet. Okay. So now 
we will set the default router set 192.168.1 set start 192.168.220.10 stop 250 set DNS server 9.9.9.9 we use Cloudflare set domain name support.local exit commit save Okay, so go back to VirtualBox. We're going to launch our Solus Budgie VM that we've used in previous videos. Here we are on Solus Budgie. We'll log in. All right, we'll launch the terminal. And we'll ping 192.168.220.1. And we are, in fact, able to reach our default gateway. In other words, our router in this case. But if we try to ping google.com, we can't get out yet. And that is because we don't have NAT configured. So we will move Budgie out of the way for the moment. And we're going to move to the next step. And so just for the sake of argument, we'll say show DHCP server leases. And it shows our Solus Budgie um, machine listed there. 192.168.220.10. Um, the name wrapped around, the client name wrapped around to the second line. But that's all right. So let's go ahead and configure NAT. So we go back into configure mode. We're going to edit NAT source rule one set outbound interface eth zero set source address one nine two one six eight two twenty dot 0 slash 24 set translation address masquerade commit save we can go exit out of configure mode and we will bring our budgie VM back over and we will try pinging Google again and this time we are successful we can ping slash dot dot org OS news and the reason that we're doing that so we'll jump back over here and we'll say show NAT source translations. And it shows the attempts going out from the Solus Budgie machine through the router. It shows the pre NAT IP address and the translated post NAT IP address. 
as along with the protocol and the timeout information. That brings us to the end of another episode of Practical IT. In the next episode that we cover using ViOS, we will be looking at NetFlow. Until next time, this is Jeremy signing out for Practical IT. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, please click the bell icon to get notifications of future videos and feel free to leave comments below. Until next time, thanks for watching and have a great day.